tire went right all over it. Back to another little beach walk right here on Holden Beach in North Carolina. Wow, look at the size of that shark eye would have been. And the tide is dropping revealing beach treasures that have been washed up here by dredging or beach nourishment you can see where they put in all the new sand and re the beaches and we're finding fossils sea biscuits along with uh, lots of other shells and dead cannonball jellyfish sea critters washed up here on Holden Beach it's a little beat up but I mean this supposedly 300 million years old so it's kind of right to be pretty beat up look at the size of that clam man that'd be awesome to find a hole in that size thick yeah very, they are very thick, very thick. can see far as the eye can see right here on Holden Beach they're just loaded with beach homes and rentals down through here there is a little uh, general store that I've noticed on the island and they have the big fishing pier which um, right now is closed this is an example of what I was talking about look this is just a section of a clam and look how big it is huge and when you're visiting right here in Holden Beach the McDonald's the food lines the other places there within you know uh, 10 15 mile, mile drive uh, just a great place to come yeah we have enjoyed our visit thanks to some of you guys for recommending it took us a while to be able to get the opportunity to do it. Well, look at that one. How it's got that perfect hole right through it. Let's see here. Maybe we can get it so you guys can see it. And another big chunk of this. So. Wow. Look at the thickness. That is just crazy. So many layers. I wonder if the layers are like the trees. Each layer would be like a year of its life. Maybe look. You can 
see them really clearly through there. That's cool. Maybe you guys can help us out with that question. Look at here. Look at the colors in that. And this break right here, really, it definitely wasn't caused from the dredging or the machines that they use because I can tell by the edges of it that it has kind of like sanded itself down. Whereas this darker color one right here, I think maybe it got chipped up a little bit around that edge and this backside. Can you see the difference? And they're just everywhere. Look here. Just look. They're everywhere. If you guys are interested in some sea biscuits, you need to be getting on the holding beach. Look. So as the tide's another dropping, one, one. we're noticing more down the beach. So what do you do with all these beach treasure stuff? You're going to keep them? I'm going to keep um, a fair amount of the ones that I pick up for sure. I have some people in mind that I've got you know, boxes in my brain already ready for. Look at that. Oh dog. man. I can see that in the patron box right now on the way. Look at that one. And I'm assuming some of these have just been picked over so much. I mean, and, they, we, and we're still finding beautiful ones. oyster shells just built up with debris and little shells and fossilized over how many years get who knows Up. Yeah, there's no way we could pick up all these sea biscuits. No. Not at this time. I bet if we came here enough, we would have a huge collection. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because they are awesome. You know how we are, guys. The more I pick up, the more I want to keep stuff. I know, yeah. it's an 
contradiction. And the lady at the general store said that she hears that people um, find shark teeth out here pretty regularly too. I haven't really even been looking for them, but just so we can keep an eye out. Oh Lord, you done give me something else to look for. solid black you know from sitting in the sediment this color all these years scallop and the clam If you guys were out picking these up, would you bleach them or would you just leave them their natural color so that you'd have a collection of different colors with broken ones, tops missing, holes? How would you display these beauties? Look how gorgeous that is. Ooh, love it. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. It almost wore a hole in it, but the hole didn't go all the way through. Right there in the center, that would have been cool, but it's still cool. It's a keeper for me. There's just so many of them. Though. Check this one out. Oh, that was pretty, both of those. And look at this stuff. Oh, that's the flat jingle. Huh? Look at it. Big shining flat jingle shell, right? Yeah. Pretty, you pretty, of too? course. Yeah, you know I love those. I'll put what that you in gonna my do with it? We'll put it in um, my jingle jar. Can you see them like earrings? That'd be nice. Two of those. I can see them as earrings, and I've, I've seen people make earrings out of them, but they're very fragile. I don't know that they would last me long, especially like in a boat, flapping all around on my ears. I thought fragile things were worth more money. Yeah, they are. I mean, because like I said, if somebody can get them right and they stay old jingles probably could dip them in something and harden them a little bit so they wouldn't be so fragile at earrings did we already look at this one no haven't you know how i can tell you is it still you there no it is broke on that side i thought it was whole I know what you were going to say because uh, if you would have seen it you would have already, already picked it up, it up. <laughs> how big this sand dollar would have been. It's just one little section of it. 
still finding these beauties. And we've made a turn. We're up from the water's edge a little bit, would you? And I'm gonna take you down this part of the beach right here that we're seeing, you know, some washed up shell finds out here. Hopefully we find a really, really nice treasure with you. How far away would you estimate we are from our chair and cart right I now? I would say right field? now we're only, uh, I'm going to give that because open space is yards. maybe 150, 200 yards, 200 <laughs> yeah, I was thinking. to the cart from right here. That's, look at this. That's definitely a piece of a bone yeah, so of some bone. type. No way to identify it. Not to us anyway. This has um, definitely been a good experience for us. I've kind of really enjoyed this holding beach. I mean, I'm, I'm seeing two biscuits everywhere I look. There's one there, there's one there. There's one on our foot. There's there's and one Stephanie there. has given you guys a there's video of the little house that, you know, we rented right across the road over another here. Another one there. There, 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 there. So you gonna there. pick them all up? No, I'm looking for the best one. We're I'm gonna be hauling them. loads of uh, shells off the island. We're gonna need a dump truck, right? <laughs> oh, look at that one right there. You know, when you put these things behind. together, guys, like a yeah, bucket full heavy. of them, they are heavy. And just imagine toting around a bucket full of like rocks or concrete. Yeah, that's basically, basically the same thing. re-beaching some of ours after I go through and pick out, you know, decide which ones are the best ones that I want to keep out of the ones that we collect. Look at that huge slipper I just picked up with that coral on it. Love it. I saw something over here and I wanted to pick up, but I don't see it now. Oh, the little piece of sea urchin. Ooh, ooh. Blew right off in the yep. wind. Because the wind is, you can see by the white caps out here right now, I would estimate the wind right now to be blowing in on us 15 to 20 mile an hour and you know we are using a wind sock on the GoPro. Uh, we like using it in the wind so we don't have all that wind noise that would be disturbing to some of you. I'll check with Steph and I'll make sure that she has a link in the description of the video that you can get these wind socks for these GoPros. It's like night and day. of a shark eye shell that would have probably been about a two and a half three inch shell in diameter good size one little gray colored uh, sea biscuit with uh, some type of build up on it How about this nice olive? Still has that shine 
to it. Looks like it hadn't been washed up that long and probably hasn't been deceased that long either. Tornado, what we call it, you know, maybe the inside of one of the whelk shells. See the spirals? Another huge piece of a broken sand dollar. And here's another the knob well, the outside uh, area of one of them. And the only thing that's missing out of this would have been like the spiral piece that we've seen back here. Wow, I was hoping that wouldn't have been busted, maybe buried in the sand. So you can definitely just pick olive shells up out here all day probably fill up a gallon bucket easily and imagine how many of that would be in, in a gallon bucket and you just have to i guess get to the point where you only keep those big huge nice finds i don't know chip a little bit right there Strange piece of sea coral. I'm gonna hold on to this for a minute because um, Stephanie loves those little pieces of sea coral. Just tell me if you see something you want me to pick up. What?
man, that is just a bell pepper. Well, I've made it back to the car, but as you can see, Stephanie, she's still down the beach. She's looking for those sea biscuits and stuff. Appreciate you coming along on this beach walk with us in uh, North Carolina, Holden Beach. Um, get on up here as soon as possible and check out this beautiful beach. So here we are, Holden Beach, North Carolina. Gonna go out here and um, do a little bit of cooking. Got this uh, corn and steak ready to go on the grill. And got Stephanie up here. She's uh, shorting, sorting these uh, beach treasure finds that we have found here on Holden Beach. And we're super excited about all of them. She'll get them all laid out and we're gonna go down here and we're gonna put this corn and steak on the grill. How's that sound tonight, Steph? Sounds delicious. I'm hungry too. I bet you are after all that shallow. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, luckily the little beach house that we were able to rent had a grill right underneath it here and um Hey, seize the opportunity. And those coals there, they're red hot. And I want to cook these steaks kind of quick. And I think the corn may take a little longer to heat up. That rack was a little bit low there. So we're going to reposition it. Yeah, and I think we're good to go. So we're gonna start off, we got our little tongs here, we're gonna place our corn right in here. Get it heating up. Getting it right over the coals. And what a view it is to just sit here and you know watch people go by and you know enjoy this beautiful day the same that we are we're going to let that corn there just sit there a few minutes and start to get a good char on that side you can see right here guys Brought my fishing gear with me and stuff and went out here on the beach today and couldn't do any fishing because I mean it was just too rough. I mean if I would have tried to throw out there I know what would have happened. The surf would have brought it right back in. So you know me and Stephanie just may do with uh, picking up these shells. We're going to let that corn sit there for a minute. look at this view this holding beach is just surrounded by beautiful beach homes and rentals Ooh, stuff you sure do got these things looking pretty <laughs> they make themselves look pretty and these are the sea biscuits they're fossilized sea biscuits. They're washing up here right now in Holden Beach. And um, due to the dredging and beach renourishment that has been going on in this area. 
And we found ton of them today, didn't we, stuff? We did. Matter of fact, I got pretty selective as the day went on once I seen exactly how many there were out there. And look how many olives are out here. Just in this bottom corner of this bag. Stephanie, you're definitely a beach seashell treasure hunter <laughs> hoarder. A <laughs> little bit. Guilty as charged. She is. She is. That is what she is. I love her. Right, Steph? Yeah. Wow. Look at the patterns on some of these. How about that one there? With them dark patterns. And how about this one here? Decomposed a little bit more. And how about these tiny little shark eyes right here? A few of the bigger ones, but they're broken. If you look through some of our other videos, I'm sure you're going to find some that will make these right here look small. Right, Steph? But those are pretty. They are pretty. And this right here, shell right here. This one of the giant Easter Muraxes that we found here. This is one of the Florida fighting comps. We got uh, turkey wings. Uh, the South Carolina state shell. Woo right? Where are we from, man? It's South right. Carolina. Um, We're showing you guys a lot of videos from Beaufort, South Carolina. And these are our state shells in South Carolina. The olive shells. Lettered olives. And check these guys out all the little augers stephanie's got her baby ears right here she's got some little pieces of sea coral she's just got tons of beach finds trying to get them all sorted out and this right here whole table full of stuff guys believe it or not um we actually started off yesterday we stayed out there i would say you know 30 minutes didn't we yeah and then today you actually sell a good bit you had yeah. a shell of a day yeah i had a shell of a day she did she had a shell of a day i can tell you that and we probably put in how many hours out there today would you say stuff i don't know four or five four or five hours I was and island time. I wasn't Steph keeping up. still got a lot of sorting to do. I got to go back down here and check on this corn. Wow. Look back this way. Look how dark those skies are. I believe we got some bad weather coming, Steph. Yeah, I know it. Well, let me go check on this corn. Here we go. Let's see what this corn is looking like. Oh. Okay. That ain't too bad. A little, little bit more burnt than maybe some people would like. But it's looking good to me. I'm good with it. These little tongs I found in the house up there, they're coming in handy. And um, I think it's about time to uh, throw our steaks on there. And we're going to sear them real fast. T-bones. Put them right over that hottest spot. I'm going to get that one there first. I'm trying to let it sear the bottom of it really, really quick. We'll just move that one on over a little bit and we'll get the other one. And I'm going to position it where it kind of closed the gaps over the fire. You can see what I'm talking about right here. Don't hold that heat in on them. Changing plans. Steph has decided with this storm coming that these shells are not, they're not safe. 
and we need to we need to get these shells picked up. So, we were going to lay them out for you guys, but yeah. um, but I guess not. It's closing in. We got these steaks down here on the grill. Let's go check them out. Just another second on that side. Oh, wow, the storm is getting close. Closing in. Staff, it's getting kind of, it's really dark back this way. I'm trying to get them put up. You need any help? No, I got it. You got it? I got it. You go ahead and deal with whatever you're dealing with. I got these. Well, good luck. Pick up the lightest stuff first, Staff. Thanks, Shirley. Got it. <laughs> Shirley, she called me Shirley. She's naming me after her mama. Right, sir? That's right. Well, back to the states in the corn. Oh yeah, perfect. Can you see that? Ooh, ooh, and they are charred. Look at that. Look at that piece of gold. These steaks are about done. And a quick pick. Reminds me, you know, back just a couple weeks ago, three or four weeks ago now that, you know, my son and daughter-in-law and kids and stuff, they were out, you know, during some bad weather. They really shouldn't have been out. You know, I know what they were doing. They were going out there looking to see if they could see a tornado, I believe. But anyhow, you know, they got a little too close and there was some big disaster that went on in our area in the middle of South Carolina and you guys shouldn't have been out there you know who you are here we go what you think that there stays looking good Close that lid one more time. Get back to stuff. Let's see what she's doing with these shells. I'm glad I put in all that time walking on those beaches stuff. It helps me get up and down those stairs quick. <laughs> you have about packed everything up. Yeah, I think these would be fine during the rainstorm. I'm not really worried about those. Heavy I really shells. don't think you got to worry about these. No. Because by them being fossilized, you know, they are They're heavy. heavy. Yeah, I'm this one here, I would have estimate it to weigh close to half pound, three quarters of a pound. You about ready to eat? Yeah. I got to cook the squash. Be ready. You gonna cook squash too? Yeah. Well, the rest of the stuff is about done. All right. You want to get to it? Yep. Getting on it. We're gonna get to it, guys. We're gonna have some squash tonight with this good meal we're having. 
<laughs> Are you a shell hoarder? Oh, you? I got plans for most of these. Like what? What you gonna do with all these shells? What you gonna do? What you gonna do with all them shells? Mm -hmm. All them shells. What you gonna do? <laughs> hmm? I got plans. What? Look at these pretty fossils. You gonna give you some away? I am gonna give some away. For sure. It's gonna be shell mail. We sure hope our Patreons enjoy some of these beautiful shells that we're going to be sending their way. And, um, hey, let's check out this storm over here. Let's see what's going on with it. So we're on the east coast right here. I'm facing south this way. And these are coming from south, southeast. These storms are moving in. It may, bay may bypass this barrier island from South Carolina being out on the barrier islands a lot of times that these storms, they bypass us. So I don't know if it's from the beach here or what it is. You know, wind coming in off the beach helps push the storms back, but we're hoping. And I think we're about ready. You ever tried to video and hold a pan get your steaks and your corn pulled up off the grill all at once it's quite a challenge look at that it's seared and those coals right there, they're just now getting to the point where they're ready to cook. How are you? Good, you? Okay. Have you seen a deer come through here? I haven't. Well, it's coming up the dune and it like came through this way. We'll be on the lookout. Deer on the beach. Here we go, stuff. Ready? You want me to do some squash or not? Let's cook the squash. Look at that. Ooh, them steaks and that corn looking good. I don't know how this squash is going to turn out, but it's got to be good, right? A little bacon grease. It gives it a little saltiness, the bacon grease, right? Sure. Then you got a little salt and pepper that you're going to put on. I get them on here, yep. I'm going to look at this storm. Look at that. Out back across the water from here between the houses, guys. I don't know if you can see that line of dark clouds. And it is starting to drizzle. I can hear a sizzle. Oh, it smells good in here too. And you're just trying to keep them like at a high temperature to like sear it outside. All right. I got the salt and pepper mix here. Got a little black pepper, so got a lot of pepper on it. Trying to get all of them turned. How long do you think it'll take to, you know, from start to finish cooking squash like this? According to how crispy you want them or how soft. I don't really like mine too soft, so I mean couple minutes on each side really is enough for me once they're sizzling. Some of these are pretty thin so they should be plenty well done by them. 
than a little bit different way of cooking squash than I'm used to because you know we always just you know battered them with a little bit of cornmeal and you know throw them in that hot hot grease and man that's some good eating too right oh yeah we love that Oh. We do love fried squash. This is a different, different way of frying squash, I guess, because it's definitely with grease, so. It's just more sauteed, kind of, instead of using butter. Just use that. I am going to put the napkins down there. I don't want to eat all that extra grease. Now we're on our vacation home. The plates. We'll pull them out. I mean. You got to give your plates up. Lisa. Quick rinsing. We're going to show you guys a nice meal here tonight. Yeah. Stuff, I'm doing the best I can. Well, any kind of steak sauce or anything with your stuff? Uh, I don't think there's any here. So we have some ketchup. I can take some ketchup with my steak. I'm good with that. Beggars can't be choosy, they say, right? All right, well, we've showed you some of our shell finds from yesterday, the shelling. We took you through a little process of us grilling some steaks with the stuff that was here at our vacation rental home. Uh, we're right here at the Edify in Holden Beach, North Carolina. We're going to sit down and we're going to enjoy these steaks, grilled corn, and sauteed squash. You ready, Steph? I am ready. And look how these steaks turned out. Perfect. See you later.